In this video, we will discuss using the QuickSee program to match student images and data to submit to your lab for processing. Before you begin, you will want to have an active QuickSee account from your lab or photo links. A quality internet connection is also required to activate the software. However, after the software is activated, it is not necessary to remain connected to the internet. It is recommended to periodically connect to the internet to ensure you are able to download any necessary software up. QuickSee supports all types of cameras and resolutions. The resolution needed for a successful scan will vary depending on the amount of data in the QuickSee card, the QR code, and the distance to the subject. The recommended distance from the QuickSee card to the camera is about 6 feet for head and shoulder images. There are a few steps you can take to help ensure you get a good, accurate reading of your QuickSee card while at the photography session. Avoid reflections on the QuickSee card by angling the card slightly from the main light. And be sure there is nothing covering that QR code on your QuickSee card, such as the student's fingers or shadows. Once you are done photographing your students with their QuickSee cards, you are now ready to process your images to get your data file noting the subject's data with the corresponding image. To process this, you're first going to want to be sure you have the correct bubble config inside of QuickSee as well as saved with your images. Do this by going to the Design QuickSee card and Bubble Values. If these are the incorrect packages for the job, Select Import Bubble Config to browse out for the correct bubble config. Once the correct bubble config is within your program, we are now going to want to save this in our folder of images by selecting Export Bubble Config and finding your folder of images and press Save. Now that we know that our program can read all packages, we are now ready to start processing our images. On the bottom left hand corner of your screen, select Process QuickSee Images. Select the Browse button to browse out for your folder of images. Remember, QuickSee can only read baseline standard JPEG files. There is no need to check off this box as this was only for a test and will be going away soon. If not all of your images have a QuickSee card in them, place a check mark next to sequential images with single QuickSee card. Once selected, press the Generate QuickSee Data File button. Be sure you only press this button once, even if you don't see anything happening right away. You will see a progress bar showing the status. Once our status says done, we are now ready to check our process. Open your folder of images, and in here you should see your bubble config that you had previously exported, a QuixieJob.PRM in which your lab will use to read your packages, and your data.txt file. It's recommended that you open your data file to ensure that all of your images were read correctly. If not, you can go through the process again. Take note that as long as you have the same bubble config in your folder as before, you will not be charged twice for reading the same QR code. You will only be charged for any new QR codes that were not previously read. At this point, it is recommended that you zip your folder of images along with your bubble config, data file, and PRM and send this to your lab in their specified way for processing.